Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video where I'm, I'll be showing you how you can use StreamMap as a slicer. That is quite an innovative slicer as you would have seen it on the thumbnail that something you can create it really jazzy and flashy um, tree maps uh, slicer which you know probably your user will love. So if you want to create a similar type of slicer I'll show you in a minute how you can do that. Also, if you are new to my channel or if you have landed very first time, then uh, this sheet, just information that this sheet is present in the description, which you can access it since it is a live sheet. So all of my future videos along with my previous videos will be available here, which you can easily access it in the column from the column B. As you can see, link is present. So search anything and just quickly jump to the link which has been provided here. All right, so with that information, let's go to the Power BI. Here we are in the Power BI. And here, what I will going to do is, I will first create a chart. And the chart is a very simple chart, is sum of sales by the some subcategories. So very simple chart, as you can see. Uh, and I will just expand that. All right and what do i need to create to create that slicer is the tree map so let me bring the tree map chart and it should be here there you go tree map if i select that here is a tree map and from my orders table i can take the sales so over here oh no not exactly the sales well actually the sales um and uh, i need to take one dimension um and dimension i will take not the subcategory actually because subcategory we are already showing it over here but the category so when we take the category if you see what we take what we get is the technology furniture office supplies and all all right so if i try to reduce this you will see something like this right so at least the first step where we have our three pretty interactive filter as you can see if i reduce the size you will see that we are getting a shape that we need so up to us what type of basically uh, how do we want to create it but if you're getting if you are seeing this the way it is showing you over here is somehow evenly spaced but if you see the spacing over here is based on the sales right so it's a matter of luck in this case that it looks like they are evenly spaced but there may be a situation or scenarios where they are not evenly spaced and i'll tell you in a minute how we can make it evenly spaced but before that you know the interesting thing is if i click on technology you will find the technology specific values if i furniture the furniture specific this has been uh, grayed out now what additional thing that you can do is you can uh, basically set the interaction so this is uh, this is the interaction uh, basically what i've shown earlier is something which is present in if i select this go to format you have this feature called edit interaction through which you can basically in you know uh, interact or set the interaction as to what do you want to do so you have this filter you have this highlight and you have this uh, none over here and if i just bring it down a little bit then what it's basically showing you right now only just the filter thing but uh, what we want is anything that needs to be selected from here it needs to be filtered Right now it is showing the filters, the highlight selection over here. But as soon as I click this, you will see those three icons are now present here. So by default, it is set to highlight. What I can do is I can even set to filter. So that way, when I select the technology, only the technology values are coming. If I select furniture, only the furniture is coming. Office supply is coming. Or if I want to set it to highlight, then it will only highlight value based on my selection. So at least these three values are coming along or this is uh, some of the basic setting. The last and final setting I want to show you is how you can, how you don't want to depend on the sales, but 
on the uh, evenly spaced values irrespective of uh, uh, or, or which is not related to your this table. So for that what we need to do is uh, we need to simply create a new measure and we will create a new measure by calling it 1 and the value will also be equals to 1. That's it. So if I if I check this and now if I select this you will see that remove the values and you will bring the values over here and now if you see they are all evenly spaced that means it is based on one one and one and that's why they will always be evenly spaced and based on whatever you want to wherever you want to use you can use it so one way i've shown you here but like i was showing you if you do this you can make it like a row based filter so it's something which is interactive colorful and if this basically suffices one of your needs to create a uh, slicers in a different way not by just a regular slicer but something which is dependent on a visualization like a tree map then this this small functionality i wanted to show you how you can do that with that thank you so much for watching i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic